Hello, I'm Muhammad Yunus. I'm speaking uh, from my home, where we're all loved right now. All over the world, we're all back at home. Uh, we are just watching the coronavirus spread around the world and spread around Bangladesh. And this is the time for reflection. Uh, this is the time for reconnection and see what's coming up and what's uh, next. We are here in Bangladesh coping with the disaster that is brought by coronavirus. I'm sure every other country is doing the same thing. But at the same time, we remember what the world that we had before coronavirus came and brought all the disaster with it, the whole catastrophe that brought to, brought to us by coronavirus. And it's not too many days back uh, that we had the world going on, uh, doing its work, uh, we are involved in that uh, wor world, in that world order. Today that world order is uh, <clears throat> it's a, a total disaster, it's broken pieces everywhere. And by the time Corona will be over, we have a scrap of it uh, all around the world, the world order they used to know a few months back. And there'll be a, a tremendous stampede to go back to the old order that we are coming from. And the question is important to raise right now, whether we really want to go back to that world order. Was it worth it? Uh, we were complaining about it vigorously all around the world, how bad it was for us and how it has brought, to, brought us to the brink of disaster and to the extent that the world, world will not be a place where human habitation is possible anymore. And because of uh, climate change, because of the climate catastrophe that the uh, world order has brought to us. And we are saying that uh, it's not uh, in few decades uh, ahead of us, <clears throat> only maybe a couple, uh, couple of decades or something like that. And we are even calling this uh, current decade is the decade of last chance meaning that if we don't mobilize ourselves fully within this decade, uh, we don't have very much chance left in the coming decades to save the planet. That's the disaster we have created through the existing order, world order that we had, the economic system that we are pursuing. And uh, this is not the only one, not the uh, climate change is not the only problem that it's created. It created a problem of wealth concentration. <clears throat> All the wealth of the world is concentrated in fewer and fewer hands. And to the extent that it's a, uh, the mockery of a system where all the world wealth gets concentrated in fewer hands, 99% uh, of the world population don't have any real participation. It may be 1%, 2% of the wealth going to the 99% of the population of the world. That's not a system at all. But that's the world we created and we are going merrily, making it worse and worse every day. So one is the wealth concentration, another is the one <clears throat> we talk about the uh, environment, which is a very real threat, uh, destroying the whole planet, uh, not being able to live in this planet. <clears throat> Third one is the upcoming, is the problem of, uh, uh, problem of um, uh, massive uh, unemployment, people believe shifted off from uh, jobs because uh, artificial intelligence is coming, coming in a big way. And where will this massive number of people who are in the job uh, will be doing when they're pushed out of the jobs? What kind of world that would be? So these are only three of the major kind of terrible scenario that we had in front of us. And we are saying this is not sustainable. We have to redesign the economics that we had. And in one of the economics that we were discussing, that this is a money-centric economics, we have to move out of the money-centric economics. And coronavirus that the spread has done, bringing collapse to that system, uh, has given us a break, actually. Uh, we should look at that way, uh, not the bad side of it, but the good side of it, that uh, they gave us, a, the coronavirus has given us a break, and we have a respite, we can now go back. We don't have to destroy the system. We don't have to dismantle the system ourselves. System is dismantled anyway. We have to rebuild it. 
and we call it recovery. And uh, the recovery is the team word that we'll be hearing every, every day. What kind of recovery that would be? That's the question. Should we go back to the old system? Obviously we can't. There's no reason whatsoever that we should go back to the one that we came, for, came out of. And uh, since we got a chance, a uh, great opportunity, uh, let's uh, rebuild it in our own way rather than going the old way. The way, uh, and instead of calling it a recovery, uh, which will be the common word, as I said, this is a recovery program. And uh, the, instead of calling it a recovery, uh, we should call it uh, redesign or uh, recreate. Recreate a new world order. So we recreate a new world, world order. This is our job now. We have to find it out. And that uh, recovery process or recreation process would be something that based on social consciousness, not the money-making consciousness, the social consciousness. This will be social consciousness. So this will be a social consciousness driven uh, redesigning effort, uh, recreating effort. So that's what we have to focus on. So how would that look like? And not only is social consciousness driven, also environmental consciousness uh, driven system. So these are the two key words for us for the next job that we have to do. And we, this is the time, right time to do that. Uh, redesign, recreate, uh, instead of going back. So the theme will be no going back. We are not going to go back. That's not the path we want to design. So that part is completely understood and we should make our mind uh, closed on that subject and design things that we want to do. And this will be social consciousness driven uh, economics and this will be social, uh, this is the environmental consciousness driven uh, economy that we'll be building and this society will be completely different. And I have been talking about social consciousness driven business. So we need to add one more piece of business into this de designing process social consciousness driven business. I call it uh, social business. And I've been uh, trying to explaining this uh, social business. I'm glad many young people responded to it. Many academics responded to it. Many governments have responded to it. And yeah. So I'm happy that this is already there in the picture and how to design the world in that way. So all of it to do, we don't, don't have to throw away anything. Only we are adding something, adding a new aspect, the social consciousness aspect, environmental consciousness aspect, where we design businesses uh, and instead of making it profit maximizing business, we make it zero profit, personal profit business. And at the beginning, it sounds very crazy. How do you do that? But once you get into it, you enjoy it. If you can have a, a, a foundations, you can have donor agencies and so on, give away money, charity money. Why can't we do business not to make personal profit? This is nothing so scary, it sounds in the beginning, uh, because we are not used to that kind of business. So it's just getting used to it. So we create social businesses. And in the process, we bring a lot of social businesses. Social business to create employment, just unemployment, that problem that we discussed. It will be massive unemployment because of coronavirus. Many people lost their jobs out of the coronavirus catastrophe. So to how to get them back? And this will be one challenge that we have to do. And social business will be a perfect uh, tool for that. I'm not discarding all other uh, efforts like uh, uh, bailout packages, like uh, uh, welfare payments, subsidies, and so on and so forth. That's fine. But in addition, we can create uh, employment by through social business. Even making unemployed people into entrepreneurs, that's another key subject that I try to promote. This is a good chance to make that happen. So first thing we have to decide that this is, a, we are not going to go back, this is for sure. This is not going to be recovery as usual. It will be recreation. Recreation based on social consciousness. Recreation based on environmental consciousness. We redesign economics, which is responding to all aspects of human being, not just one aspect of human being, making money. That's one aspect. There are other aspects, uh, social consciousness, consciousness aspect, and other uh, the uh, solution of all the human problems aspect that every human can do. So we discover, reinvent ourselves uh, to do the new world that we have to create in the coming days. So this would be something that we can reflect and get ready for. Thank you very much.